so when that questioner asked, and I believe that question is from Commentary Magazine, he looks a little familiar to me, and brings this up about the FBI and so forth, you know, for her to snarkily say, well, you know, we leave it to them, we don't interfere. We're not asking you to interfere with any investigation. Are you gonna help fix the FBI? And the answer is no. The spokes idiot for the idiot in the Oval Office is increasingly idiotic. She comes ill prepared, she comes with talking points, she's gotten increasingly snarky and, and uh, impatient. Uh, she's asked basic questions and she doesn't know how to answer them. The reason is I don't think she's getting much direction, quite frankly, so she's not sure what to say. And so she falls back on the usual uh, radical left shibboleths and um, you'll see that here, how she gets frustrated when she's asked about the dorm report. Now, the dorm report concluded, when you look at the entire report, that the entire investigation was a farce, that it was promoted and funded by Hillary Clinton and her campaign, that it was regurgitated by the media, that the FBI violated its own internal policies to promote it. Uh, conversely, when it came to Hillary Clinton, they violated their own policies there to protect her. And so we have an FBI that's completely out of control to this day. The FBI, the prosecutors at the Department of Justice are chasing down Donald Trump, not just a former president, but the leading Republican candidate in the Republican primary for president. So again, the FBI is interfering in our election system. And for what? To criminalize a document case? And for what? To claim that the president, who authorized 10,000 troops to surround and protect the Capitol building, but it was turned down by the Democrats, that somehow he wanted an insurrection? Did he order those troops to attack the Capitol? No, he ordered them to protect the Capitol. But that for another day. So the question is, We've got this storm report now. So the media are downplaying it. Why? Because the media will have to surrender all their Pulitzer Prizes and other prizes they handed to themselves as a result of their reporting on something that never happened. Uh, the New York Times and the Washington Post together got eight Pulitzer Prizes for reporting on something that never happened, including Maggie Haberman. She's considered their star reporter at the New York Times. So it's a very strange thing. So nobody expects them to now say we were wrong. So we're getting a variety of answers from the media like, so what? Or we already knew that. Or Dorm didn't indict anybody successfully. Or a thousand other answers. And the media and the media surrogates and the Democrat Party are all yawning. And yet those of us who look at this and say to ourselves, my God, the FBI is completely out of control. Uh, we must be right-wing MAGA extremists, uh, uh, white supremacists. I'm trying to get all the propaganda down here. Uh, and so when you ask a Democrat about it, like her, the spokes idiot for the idiot, it's like, hey, what do you want from me? Yeah. Go ahead. What is the White House reaction to Special Counsel Durham's report on how the FBI handled the Trump Russia probe? I would leave it to the Department of Justice to so speak to. He talks often about how he wants the DOJ and FBI to remain independent and um, you know, above the fray. That report seems to reflect the opposite. Is, does he agree with uh, Special Counsel Durham that there needs to be wholesale changes at the FBI? Again, that is uh, with the Department of Justice. No, it's not with the Department of Justice. The Department of Justice is the problem. Does the White House not have a comment at all? Joe Biden was vice president when all this took over. Joe Bar Biden and Barack Obama were debriefed on this before they left office. Uh, what do you mean it's uh, go to the Justice Department? It's up to the Justice Department. This involves the Biden administration or the Obama administration when Biden was vice president. And so they have no comment, none. When Biden's shuffling around out there, or barely riding his bicycle, and he squeals out his commentary from time to time, he has no problem commenting on whatever he wants to, but it's up to the Department of Justice to respond to this. No, it isn't. Go. It's not something that I'm going to speak from the podium. As you just stated in your question, we believe in an independent uh, de Department of Justice. That's what the president said when he was running, and that's what the president has said the last two years. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in Japan. And they're all sitting there like, what the hell just happened? She blows him off and she walks off like she's Biden. 
Now, they can say what they want about Trump, or they can say what they want about Republican presidents and their staff and their spokesmen and so forth. They don't do this. Never seen anything like this before. He can't get a press conference with Biden because he's incapable of having a one hour or 45 minute press conference. He'll fall to pieces like Fetterman. I'm just being honest. But Trump was available all the time. They were screaming at him. He treated them with a hell of a lot more respect. Oh, but he called them fake media because they were and they are. But I'm not talking about that. She just walks off. And it's a very legitimate question. So now who's going to answer it for the White House? Nobody. Because Biden won't speak, she won't speak. The only way they'll answer is to leak. Now, let me explain what I mean that this is more than the Justice Department. The president appoints the director of the FBI. The president appoints the attorney general. The issue here is that there is a corruption that goes deep into the FBI. And that the FBI works ultimately for the president of the United States. He's the constitutional authority. There is no attorney general. There is no FBI director in the Constitution. So when that questioner asks, and I believe that question is from Commentary Magazine, he looks a little familiar to me, and brings this up about the FBI and so forth, you know, for her to snarkily say, well, you know, we leave it to them. We don't interfere. We're not asking you to interfere with any investigation. Are you going to help fix the FBI? And the answer is no. Because this is the report, and they don't care about this. They don't care about the findings. They just blow it off. The New York Times headlines and the Washington Post headlines the other day, when this report came out, were a disgrace. Same with Politico. So the left-wing media participated in the Russia collusion farce. They're not going to now genuflect and talk about how terrible it was what the FBI did when they worked with the FBI. They got the leaks from Comey. They got the leaks from McCabe, sometimes directly, sometimes through other people. McCabe's wife ran for the state Senate in Virginia as a Democrat. McCabe is a Democrat. He's an activist. Comey is a Republican, sort of one of these uh, uh, never Trumper types or Lincoln Project types. And he clearly used his office to try and take out a president of the United States. That's what he did. He's the one who pushed the FISA warrant against Carter Page. And so a, 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 a lawyer for the FBI falsifies a record, whites out something, has it say the exact opposite, and submits it as part of a complaint to get a warrant, not just once, but to have it extended four times against an innocent American. And this guy, Comey, winds up being a uh, professor of sorts at the University of Virginia. So that's what's going on. That's why she's not going to answer it. Why? And there's a lot more to this in terms of the Obama and Biden personal involvement and knowledge that we're never going to be able to get to because they control these instrumentalities of federal law enforcement. But they had to know a lot more. How did they know a lot more about what was taking place? Any idea, Mr. Producer? Because it was in the newspapers. Because it was leaked. That's how I was able to come to you right here on Levin TV and help expose it. One exhibit after another. One media organization after another. Starting with the espionage against the Trump campaign then the Trump transition team, and then the Trump presidency. We broke that story right here on radio and on Levin TV. Want to see more Mark Levin? Go to levintv.com. Subscribe now.